This is an awesome site, a little tricky to back down into. But we got the overland lack back behind us here. Picnic table, nice little spot, fire ring, $13 a night, Yellowwood State Forest. You cannot beat this. Now I have a real dilemma. Do I set the tent up back there? Or, got my backpack with me, and there's two trees back here right on the lake that look like would be a beautiful spot for my hammock. Tree right there, and look at this view behind me. Boat launches over across the way. May have to uh, put the tent up and the hammock may go up too. That may be where I end up sleeping tonight. It's awfully nice. So if I sleep in, I'll dig my underquilt and all that stuff out, but I may just do some lounging. So. A lot of people ask me how to get started camping, things like that. And honestly, if you really want to adventure, this was like $28 off Amazon. It and two trees, if it's in the 70s at night, really all you need. Tonight it's going to be mid-40s, so um, I do have an underquilt for it. And uh, just throw a sleeping bag on top of that, tarp and all that stuff. So if I decide to sleep in it, I use those. But those warm summer nights, buy a hammock, some hot dogs, some cold cuts and a foam cooler, throw some ice in it. and. Go and get some camping experience. Don't get me wrong, I love my gazelle tent, but man, nothing beats sleeping in a hammock. And this is just an absolute beautiful spot. Do have the bug screen up just because it's kind of bunched up and it's keeping the sun on my eyes so i can flip this upside down take the bug screen off there's not much bugs out in this weather even though it's 70 out they haven't came out a whole bunch yet so man this is comfortable may end up out here tonight well just a few casts down here but no luck i think tomorrow once once i break camp before i go home i'm gonna spend some time going around the lake and See if anything's biting. Uh, spillway's right down the way from me. Uh, got a little creek crossing and stuff usually to get there, see if that's passable this time of year. And I uh, get down by the spillway and over by the boat launch and stuff like that and see if we can catch anything. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen this. It's a Hoosier Outdoor on Instagram, but I did finally get around to uh, getting all of my drawer slides and everything painted the other day. Just painted everything flat black, mainly just to seal it because it's all MDF because I got it for free and it was cheap and easy to make. Way heavier than it needs to be, but gets the job done. Uh, update on the solar system, it's been running the cooler great. I'm at 12.8 volts right now and it's been a, the cooler's been on for three days I think now. Um, solar's keeping up with it, so as it gets hotter we'll see how it does, but as it gets hotter the days also get longer and we get more sunlight. So. I think the 250 watt panel is going to be plenty to power the fridge and charge my batteries and everything else I need to do. Plus I've got the power pack in the tent if I need extra power, so really can't beat it. We can stay out here, I think, as long as I want now, which was the goal. Camping 101. Forget the flint and still bring a blowtorch. daylight fast but ready for some dinner gonna do a little cooking over the fire with just some hamburgers you got to have the sweet Hawaiian buns some Swiss cheese cuz I was out of pepper jack and my personal favorite um, BW3's Caribbean jerk sauce that stuff is delicious on hamburgers and a bunch of other stuff found it at a Walmart recently and I've been hooked so that's gonna be dinner gonna throw some uh, Aluminum foil over the fire and see if I can get enough light to film a little bit of that and have something to eat. Another pro tip for you. If you bring your wood in a tote, the lid makes a great way to fan the fire. Breakfast is served. Oh 
no coffee so good in the morning. Just some eggs and sausage. One of the nice things about raising chickens is always got fresh eggs. So going to sit here and enjoy this. I had a little bit of an incident last night. Didn't bring as much stuff with me as I should have and forgot to bring snacks, which if you're a diabetic, you know, low blood sugars are way more scary than highs. And mine dropped last night. Luckily, I had some uh, cereal in my box that I carry with me and some instant oatmeal. So ate some cereal and boiled some water real quick about two in the morning and ate a little bit of instant oatmeal and got my blood sugar back up. It was uh, about 60 when I checked it on its way down. Makes you pretty shaky, feel pretty miserable. So my own fault for not having some orange juice or hard candies or something with me like I should have. Lesson learned. Made it down to the spillway. Road wasn't too bad down here. That creek crossing can uh, get gnarly depending on what time of year you come through. I'm gonna walk down here and uh, see if it looks like we can do any fishing. something's biting. Just a baby. That was fun. Caught a few fish. Uh, way down here by the spillway. I think it's a good time to make a little bit of lunch. So, the only one down here. So, let's see what we got.
have to say, so far, I'm really loving this Pollock kitchen. It does make a life a little easier. I know it's not convenient for everybody, but uh, this vehicle mostly goes camping. Because I'm out, that's usually what I'm doing. So I can cook just about anywhere I want. Makes camping easier when uh, we do stuff like the Hoosier National where there's no picnic tables or anything like that. So uh, pretty convenient, really happy with it. Well, everybody, that's it for this trip. Lunch is done. Sitting here watching the spillway. Still a beautiful day. Getting ready to uh, head towards the homestead to get some stuff done. So, thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time. As always, thanks for watching from Hoosier Outdoor and be good people. Clean up yourself. Don't leave a mess and leave it better than you found it. I don't know what this place is. CNC equipment. But I have thoughts every time I come by here. LMTVs, Unibogs. So many ideas for campers.